Welcome to the Real Estate Investment Nomad Podcast. I am your host, Natalie Salas, an international real estate expert. Join me as we explore the thrilling world of global real estate. We'll uncover diverse international markets, backed by solid data and engaging insights. Each episode features expert guests from the hottest markets, providing you with the knowledge to invest wisely and successfully. Whether you are a local realtor aiming to go global or an investor curious about international opportunities, this is the podcast for you. Get ready to transform your approach and achieve global real estate success to become a real estate investment nomad. Hello, everybody. My name is Natalie Salas, and we are with the Real Estate Investment Nomad Podcast. And we have the honor of having Bane Monroe in the show. And she's the number one agent in YouTube for marketing immobiliario, which is real estate Social marketing media. In Spanish. Yeah. <laughs> so how does it feel being the number one in YouTube for, you know, like in Spanish, just being in real estate? This is, I don't know. To me, it blows my mind from watching your videos, learning how to do things. Uh, you're so resourceful and you teach so many people, so many in realtors in, in the space, so many things that you just give it out all for free. So thank you. you know, for that. <laughs> oh, thank you. Thank you for inviting me. You know, it's bl mind blowing. I, I, I don't even believe it. I don't, I don't know. I don't know how I got to 120,000 subscribers, but I know I did a lot of work and I give a lot of what I know. I mean, I major in marketing, so I love marketing. And when I started four years ago, I didn't know I was going to be the number one, but I knew I was going to do two videos a week for the rest of my life. <laughs> so now this is what I, I have now because of doing videos two week, two, two days a week. And as you were saying, you when I started, Natalie, I thought I was going to help agents where I live with, which is Tijuana, Mexico. And it's crazy that now I have agents from all over the world that are watching my YouTube channel, like from Spain, from Mexico, can Canada, US, República Dominicana, Chile, Colombia, Paraguay, Uruguay. It's crazy. Like, I can't believe it still. I don't know. It feels amazing. You know, that's what it feels because when I see agents, they just, when they approach me and tell me that I inspired them, that because of me, they started their channel or had a client or made this and that. For me, that's my purpose, like to inspire people, to help and to teach what I know. So, mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. no, I love it. And I know many, many realtors are listening in the U.S. that follow you. They watch all your videos to understand what to do with their marketing online. And since you mentioned that you're a marketing major, that's what I, I think you and I connected to. I am too. And I was like, I love marketing. So who's the best person to teach me about marketing that is good herself on that space? Because there's so many coaches out there and there people that sell courses and they charge all this money, but you give it all out for free just for that same purpose to give back, right? Yes, yes. And I do sell things, right? I have to make a living. But but in all my videos, you don't need to pay a course. Like you can see in my video, I will tell you the, from A to Z, what to do, how to generate a lead today in Facebook. If you want, if you want to do it on YouTube or in Instagram, whatever, I will teach you everything. Yes. So how do you start with this career? I mean, I know you love marketing, but into the real estate space is a little bit different. So what was your journey in your career that you were like, you know, I'm going to do this now? Nati, it's like crazy. Like I tell people all the time, like it's so important to find your purpose, right? So, and I ask a lot of times when I am in conferences, have you found your purpose? And only 10% of the people uh, raise their hand. And I understand it took me 20, 22 years to find my purpose. Right. And I tell my husband, so I was a teacher. I didn't know that, <laughs> you know, so it was a casualty. How do you say that? Casualidad. Yeah. Yes. It, but now we were in Nashville the other day and I love what Jen said about Oprah, but I understood that it was an Oprah, which who said this, it was a, a philosopher who says that, let me see if I, I remember, which says, uh, opportunity no, it's preparation meets, no, what is luck? Luck. Is it luck or is it luck? Luck, it's when preparation meets opportunity. That's and I think, yeah, you got it. <laughs> uh, it's like in my mind, I'm thinking all these things. So that's what I think happened to me. I was in a plane. I saw, I catch up with a friend. But before that, guys, I did like, because I know now, because I did around 12 
different businesses. And when I did those businesses, I went all in. Like everything had branding, everything had a landing page, everything had that. Like I was going to be the best one in what I was doing, but nothing fulfilled me. It was like, oh, I did that. Uh, I'm bored, you know. So what's next? What's next? I was always looking for next, next, you know. So in this plane, I see a friend that I haven't seen since we were in high school. So we're talking about 30, 30 years ago, almost. And she's like, oh, we're catching up. And she's like, oh, you know, I'm a, I'm a broker in Orange County. I'm a broker. Wow. So I'm like, you know, that's something I haven't done. And it's the, the only thing I think I haven't done. And she's like, oh, you will be perfect because you're like, la, 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 la. And she's like, well, I have a lot of clients that need I need help in San Diego. But she was in Orange County. And I'm like, you know, I'm not an American. I don't have a license. But in my mind, Natty was like, so we can do Facebook ads, right? So how difficult could it be to sell a house from everything I've done? So I asked her, what do you do of uh, social media for real estate? And she's like, nothing. So in my mind, I just go to my house. I, that's the way I am. So I go to my computer and I wrote in Google, Facebook ads for realtors. And guess what? I, I found three guys that were doing this in English, not in Spanish. I didn't find anyone in Spanish. And I found, found our now partner, who is Mike Short. He had around 3,000 subscribers there. So I started learning about him. And then he had a call to action somewhere in there that something said, I don't know what it said. Like, you want to work with me or something? I don't know. And I, I knew he, I learned that he was doing courses and all those things. And I did the school. But what I thought, guys, is I thought, oh, I can do this in TJ, you know, like I can teach some brokers or brokerages how to do Facebook ads for realtors, like locally. So we had this call, Mike and I, we clicked like this in Zoom. It was very funny. So he starts, we, we were like, we, we should partner. And, and, and he's like, oh yeah, and you can do my courses in Spanish. And I'm like, yes, I can do that. I like that. And blah, blah, blah. so we started emailing each other. And then he's like, but you know, you have to do your personal brand. And I'm like, what? And, and then he's like, so what's your favorite color? And I'm like, I don't know, like black, you know? And like, he's like, I'm purple. And I'm like, uh-huh. You should be like pink. And I'm like, okay. And then he's like, and then you have to do your YouTube channel. And I'm like, you're crazy, Mike. Like, no way. I just opened my Instagram account so I don't have people looking at my things. I want to be like super personal, you know, and I never, ever, ever do a selfie, do videos and that. And he's like, I don't care. You have to do it. And I'm like, if you really want to do this and we want to partner, you have to do it. And I remember he told me something. I, I never said it but because you, I know you know her. He's like, and you're going to be as famous as Vanessa, you know, the marketer. Vanessa, mm -hmm. what is her last name? I forgot her last name. But, it, whatever mm -hmm. and I'm like that's crazy and so I'm like okay I want to do it I'll do it so we were gonna you see each other in uh, around May 2020th so uh, COVID hit right yeah so those plans never happened but I told him so if I'm gonna teach like agents how to sell homes with branding and Facebook and that I have to learn how to do it because I, I don't like the, the coaches that, that, that don't understand. So yeah. I'm like, so I'm going to go to a broker here in TJ to the best one. And I want to tell him, so let me just sell one thing, a uh, pre-construction. There was like my a friend that she was a director. And then I have my husband is a lawyer. So I'm like, those legal stuff, he can do it. <laughs> yeah. So I go with, and I thought it's easy, a pre-construction. They have everything, right? So and I thought, okay, I'm going to start like doing like a little bit of social media now, like some stories, something there. And I started like I did like my first Facebook ad campaign. And at the first month I sold my first condo in my first land. I got around $18,000 for in commission. I'm like, what the hell? I like this. This is like <laughs> what I was looking for. Right. So then I believed my I believed that I could do anything like, OK, I'm going to teach now the agents how to do it because I just did it in my first month. So mm -hmm. anyone can do this. Right. So it was COVID and I started recording, recording, recording every day, every day, doing the course, doing the course, doing the course. So then I launched my Facebook, my YouTube channel, and then the rest is history. So that's how I started, Natalie, in, in, in this space, right? Yeah, and it's like you don't take no for an answer. You just are ready for, to test new things. There are many realtors or many agents in the space that are so afraid to be on camera. So they freeze and they never do it. 
But being you in the other side of fear, right? You're like, I'm just going to do it. I mean, what is there to lose? I'm going to go sell a house? Okay, I'll sell a house. I'm going to try to do this camera thing. I'll do the camera thing. What would you tell those realtors or agents around the world that look at your content and they're like, I know what I need to do. I just cannot get myself in camera. And we get those a lot, you know, they're like, I can do this, this and that, but I cannot be in camera. What do you think they're missing out? Yeah, real estate, it's not about houses. It's about connections. And you and I know this. And so for now, like now it's so easy to have a cell phone. And if you're in an, in an ad, the first thing I'm going to do when I see a, a an ad of a realtor, I'm just going to go into a Google and I want to see who that person is. So if he doesn't have any digital thing in there, so I don't relate to that person, right? So in the other case, if I see a Facebook ad and I see someone who has videos, who's, who is doing education, who is doing all those things and, and is getting my like, know, and trust factor, right? It's like this. And videos is the only way you can know how that person is. Not a picture, not a podcast, or yes, but when you see someone that like you can relate and, and it's so easy to sell something to anyone that sees you in video if they connect with you, obviously, right? So in all those cases, I've seen like, how in the hell am I the number one YouTube channel in the world? And I have agents from all over over the world because, you know, they just saw me on video. It's funny that now that you're saying that, Natalie, because I have so many opportunities because of my videos. Like when I go and do Facebook ads, I will be in the video and I will do better than any other average realtors. I will invest in my production. I will do this. I will do that better. So I get leads like people who have these big developments or even some, you know, I have one person that they're trying to buy an island and I'm trying to help them in those these things. Why did I have that opportunity? Because I exposed myself in video. It's not going to be easy. The first video is going to suck, the second, the third. But, you know, from the fourth, fifth, sixth, you're going to get better, better and better and better. And then you're going to love it. It's better to do a short video than to write something or to do a design. So I think I just see it like a, an asset that is working for you forever in, in social media now. Yeah, no, I like that because... The fear is preventing us from going so much farther that we can. And right now, the content that you're doing, like you were saying, just works for you. You don't have to be chasing people. You don't have to be probably calling clients or agents. Now people come to you because they understand you. They get to know you in video, which is, you know, like the new era of making friends. Because I had a lot of Zoom friends <laughs> during the pandemic. Yeah. And I get to see them in person. I work with different conferences. And it's super exciting to see them in video because I feel like I know them. So do you get that a lot when you go to conference, you got so many opportunities for changing people's lives because when you're on stage, I feel like people feel you, you're very genuine. And the same way that you show up in your video is the way you show up in life. So it's not like you're making anything up because some people are afraid that, oh, you know, I'm not myself in video, but you just went seamlessly from video to in-person. It's just meeting the same person. What, yeah, yeah, I think that's super yeah, I think that's super important because a lot of people are inventing like this, ¿cómo se personaje? this character. character, right? Yeah. This character. And I'm like, no, or like, I'm going to be me, me. If you like me, okay. If you don't, bye. I don't care. So yes, when I have a Zoom call, like someone that wants a mentorship or something with me, or they're like, you're the same. Or I didn't think you were going to be in the call. And I'm like, yes, I'm going to be in the call. Like you take that, took, took time to come to see me. I'm going to be me. And it's so easy to sell you anything because they know me. They feel like they're my friend, right? So I'm like, Valente, I see all your videos. I can't believe I'm looking at you. You know, like, yes. And it's surreal because I'm working in a, such a small place, like a two meter by two meter space. So I'm just working, working, working. And when you go out and it's overwhelming, like people like they sometimes cry or they just want my book, or they just want a picture, or they just wanted to tell me something, you know, my signature, I'm like, that's crazy. You that's know, right like, now. <laughs> that you only see that in movie stars, right? And you're kind of this little movie star of a niche, right? Yep. So if you go on video and you do the same in your city, guess what you're going to be? You're going to be a local celebrity, and we get that everywhere. You know, like Sumin Kim, Noen, and, and uh, Megan, uh, Sandy, Kathy, Emilia, Feli Padilla, all these people that are putting in the work, like, they just come this local celebrity. That's what happens. It's crazy. Yeah, I, and I feel that's what it is, you know. 
I mean, not without selling. Cel I like the celebrity status because you are working towards it. It's in a different industry, different field. You help people in different ways. But it's like, you know, this weekend we were in Nashville and we see Ed Milet. And you're like, oh my God, I've been looking up to him. I follow all his videos, his audio, podcast. And people feel the same when they see you. And it's something that you cannot ingest so quickly because you're very humble. Because I know you as a friend. And that feeling that now you know what it feels like when Ed Milet is there and everybody comes to him. So how does it feel that like when people stop you in the street and they tell you, you know, money because of you, I changed my life. I made more money. I got out of my shell. I do content. I can pay my kids school. Things like that. Yes. It's very rewarding. You know, as I told you at the beginning, uh, it took me 20 years, 22 years to find my purpose. And that's why I love what I do. Like I can go 23 hours working and I don't care because I know I'm changing at least one person, one life, you know? So uh, when I see these people and tells me this, I feel super happy. Like it, like I don't need anything else. Yes, I will have more money. I will do this. Yeah, it, uh, it's good to have more money. But at the end, I think like making a change in someone, you know, making them believe in themselves. And also like to see my kids, you know, like sometimes, oh, mom, oh, you're going to do another video or but at the end, I, I know I'm putting something in their mind. Like I'm telling that you can do whatever you want in life, you know? So for me, I think that's something that motivates me to keep going to like, they will have anything. They, they will be able to do anything. They have to fight for it. You have to hustle. You have to be there. You have to wake up. You have to do it. And as I was telling you before, when sometimes I have to do a call that I don't want to do on Wednesdays and I'm doing it and I see an agent that, it's in Barcelona and it's through a.m. in the morning and she connected to this call because she was going to hear me. I'm like, oh, my God, I have to be there. I want that agent in my team because he, she had the discipline, you know, and the professionalism to be in my call. I just want to be with her. So I think that that's, those are the things that fulfill me like right now. I can tell you, like going on stage and seeing people and interacting and networking and just hearing those words, as you said, like it's nothing can buy that, you know, like it's amazing when I have my mentorship in, in people sometimes like I can't believe I'm like in this mentorship with you. Like I've been hearing you like for years and I, I, I didn't think I was that kind of agent that could be with you and that I'm like, that's crazy, Natalie. You're like, yeah, you can. And because we've always been in that moment in life when you want a coach. And you're like, oh, my God, I don't have the money. How am I going to do this? But I want to be there. But I, I don't know if I want to pay it. You know how I'm going to do this. And, you know, sometimes when I see you in the camera and I see you and you're like, you just want to be with me. I'm like, tell me, how can you pay this? Like, well, I can pay you this. Like, I can give you this now and maybe this then and maybe this then. And then I'm like, OK, I trust you. You trust me. So we have a deal. You're in. And this girl, she's, she's like, her voice is like, she's almost going to cry. And she's like, you know, oh my God, another coach will naturally tell me, well, when you have the money, come back and we'll talk. And, yeah. and, and I'm like, I, I want to give these people opportunities because, you know, you had your opportunity and sometimes they say you have to fake it until you make it right. Yeah. And sometimes I'm like, oh my God, I have to go to this and... I'm going to pay, pay this. And I'm like, have you heard what people think and what the reality is? You're saying like, yeah. so I want to give to people. And, and this person, I know because I gave her this opportunity, I know she's going to change her life and her family. So if that's what I love of the, the, doing this, Natalie. It's crazy. Yes. Mm -hmm. No, I, yeah. I love seeing that. And when I'm with you in conferences, is sometimes we have to hold the line <laughs> because they, People come and want to take a picture with you. And besides this ego, ego aside, right? Like you're trying to genuinely help these people, like men, women, depending on how they see you, like different type of content, like if they're moms, if they're you know, like a single mom or like they're yeah. you know, a dad, a single dad or like a family, they want to do it together. You know, example, uh, Noah and Megan, they do it together. Yes. So, then they're a team of, of a couple too. Yes. So, it's beautiful to see how everybody just comes out of like a flower, right? Like the fluorescent, yes. como que yes. una flor. <laughs> yeah. I remember when I think you were in the panel in the last, last year, I think at EXP, I think. Yes. It was the first one in Spanish. 
And they told me what was the best of, for me, uh, EXP, not in my experience. And it translates also to me being a coach and everything. It's when you see someone, like you see that person and they have so much potential because we all do. It's just because something that happened in your life and you're insecure and you're thinking about what other people said or something they told you and you think you are that. But you know that person that has that potential because also it has that commitment, right? And not everyone has that discipline, commitment, and habits. So if that person has those three and then, but they don't believe in themselves. And they're, oh my God, this, this person has everything to flourish, as you said. So the best part of this is when you see that person that became, that came like, I'm so afraid and I don't know, but you know, and then they're like, boom, it's like, oh my God, they're like, Woo! They're like this new, you know, movie star now that is moving to that, to that, and it, they're going to get everything. And I don't have any ego. Like people tell me sometimes, but you don't know how famous you are. I'm like, oh, I'm just funny. I'm like, no, you know, but, but because I don't see it that way. I just love what I'm doing, you know? Mm -hmm. No, and I think the energy connects with other people that have the same energy. You know, I think you wouldn't click with so many human beings that they love you for who you are and that you just stay the same person. It's not like, yeah, yeah, oh my god, yeah, it's like bye. Let, let me take a picture later. Oh my god, no, no. <laughs> no I, don't photos. <laughs> I don't have time now. Yeah, mm -hmm. and I think from many leaders that we met last week, and we keep learning, right? Even though you're like almost, I feel, on the top of your career, there is always more and more in the next challenge. Yes, uh, for you, what has been like something at the beginning of your career that you have overcome that you felt like it was a weakness that kind of became that one thing that you conquer. And you're like, I'm doing it. Speaking as I do in video, it's like, oh my God. I mean, guys, I always been smart. I've been smart. I knew the answer of all the questions that teachers were saying, but I was so afraid to raise my hand because I, I was afraid it was going to be wrong. You know, I don't want to be wrong. I want to be right, right? So I was uh, super afraid of doing when you have to do like your exposing, exposure. What is it like? The exposition. Yeah. Like you have, yeah. I don't know how it's in English. <laughs> Yeah, like, no, I'm speaking in English in this thing. I'm like, no, 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 what's going to be in English? And I'm like, oh, my God. So like that, like starting a video for me was like something I never, ever, ever thought I would do. Never, ever. And then the next more difficult thing I did was going on stage. Like, oh, my God. I wasn't thinking that I was going to go on stage. So it came an opportunity here in Mexico, in Monterrey. They call me and they're like, okay, we want you to be in this conference. And it was my first one, but I've been doing so many reps in Zoom and Zoom and coaching and da 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 da, da. So I think because you dominate what you're talking about, it's easier, but you're not in Zoom anymore. You're in stage, you know? So they sent me the venue and it was like, oh my God, there's like the Phantom <laughs> of the Opera, Cats, El Rey Leon, you know? I'm like... Oh my God, I'm telling my husband, like, Javier, look at this, where I'm going to speak. Oh my God, I'm so nervous. You know, I'm like, <laughs> what am I going to do? And then I put it like more difficult. I'm like, you know what? I want the kids and you to come because this is my first time in stage and I want you there. I don't know what I'm going to do. You know, I, I come when I going to do or whatever. I was so nervous, so nervous, but not nervous because I was going to fail. I was nervous because I was so excited, but I've never been in stage. And how am I going to do this? And I speak so fast also. And I know people that are there, like they're realtors. They don't know what I'm talking about. They don't know about social media for realtors. That's what I'm there for, right? Mm -hmm. And so I remember if you guys love tennis, because I'm a super tennis player, I have been playing tennis for 40 years and Rafael Nadal is my best. So what I like about him is his energy, his re resilience, uh, how he always go for everything, you know, it, it, next point, next point where we're here in the other day, he's like, I will go for this point, next point, next. I'm not thinking of what I, I did before. I'm going for the next one. So if you've seen Rafa now before any game, all the other ones, the guys are like with music like this. And he's like jumping, you know, like he's jumping, he's running. And now I'm like that, Natalie, I'm like backstage. I was like, <laughs> I was running from here to there, there from there. Like, because I wanted to go in like, well, you know, yeah. and I really think I nailed it for being my first one. I'm like, Javier, Sophie and Nico are like, wow mom like 
you really, and then I go out and then there's this girl, crazy girl. She's kind of like, what? she's running to me, you know, like running, <laughs> like, Vane, I, I love you. I follow you like for a long time. I live in Saltillo and I'm driving to meet you. Of course, you know who this is. It's Sandy Erja. They're like, oh. Who is this girl? Like, she's crazy, you know? She's nervous. Like, can we take a, like a video? Like, again, I'm like, oh, yes. I'm like, uh, okay, yes. So this was like surreal. My kids and my husband are like, what is happening right now? You know, people like, uh, I, la, 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 and, and getting all these messages. And then I'm getting, this, I want to work with you. Do you do coaching? Do you do this? Do you? It was crazy because I was three years in a row in Zoom calls. So now I'm like, a really person, right? Like people touching me. So I don't know. It's crazy. I, I can't like still digest that. Like it's surreal, you know? I don't know. No, no, no. <laughs> no, no. And, I, and I love that because you, you have done so many reps behind the scenes. Yes. Like when it gets real, you're like, oh my God, it's so real. Like you're truly impacting people's lives. Every single video that you do. And some people might think, oh yeah, Vanny is an overnight success but they haven't seen the track record that you've been going at it every single time. It's like going to the gym, right? Like some people give up after two days, like oh, I have no muscle, like mm -hmm. I have no abs, but it's like, it's been two days. And yeah. I don't have it's been two days. And you, it's like the, how do they call it? Delay gratification. It's a delay gratification. Uh, because you're not waiting for results like right now, you know that it's going to be a long shot and that is, it's not an overnight success. You've been working for this for four years. And yeah, you tell 22, some 22, like, yeah, 22, like, yeah, you know, and yes, I think that's very important. People give up very soon, right? You never know, as Mike or Ed they tell you, like, maybe you give up before you're maybe the next call, the next video, that's next thing that where you're gonna get that boom. You never know, like, when I started, I didn't, know. I mean, Mike told me what to do, but I don't even know what I was doing, like why am I doing this? Or that? I didn't even think about it. You know, I, I didn't think about it. I just did it. I was like bored in what I was doing before. I just wanted to do something that had sparked me, you know, like that purpose. So then four years later, this is it. I've been, I, I've done more than 785 videos in, in YouTube wow. and videos in Instagram. I've done the model explain a VXP more than one, I guess, 2000 times at least we, because when I started at EXP, I did it like every day, like if you were an agent, you wanted to come to my team. I'm like, I'm doing the model explain, you know, I did it like maybe in the same day, seven times in that you, you've seen my model explain. So it's yeah. like 45 minutes and I will do one, two, three, four. My husband is like, don't you get tired? Yes, but I have to keep going. I've, I've done it like sick with COVID, like with ugh, my throat, like with, uh, no, like, I don't want to do it. I have to do it. I just have to do it. So yes. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's the next level of commitment with yourself. And, next, I, and it's your, like, as my late always says that I, I love it. I say it in Spanish. Let me see if I can remember it in English. He's like, uh, like your self-confidence grows when you, what is it in Spanish? Let me see. When you, you do, yourself, you can do it. Or something like that. In Spanish, is la, la confianza crece en ti mismo cuando cumples las promesas que te haces a ti mismo. Entonces, self-confidence will grow when you uh, commit to the promises you make to yourself, not to your husband, to your friends, to anyone. Like, no one is going to kill me if I don't do my YouTube, my YouTube video for Monday. No one. It's like, it's just me. It's something I have to do for me, you know? So... I think that's another level where you don't need anyone else but yourself to do to have success, right? You can be coached, you can be this, but at the end you're alone in that house in front of that camera, and you have to do it. No one is gonna tell you to do it. It's you. Yeah. I can tell you a, a hundred times, million times, but if you don't want to, you won't do it. Mm -hmm. You have to start somewhere. I many people get frustrated because they're like, oh, I don't have the results, or I don't have the numbers, but is there months two? And they're comparing, like they say, don't compare your chapter one to somebody else chapter 20. They've been doing this for 20 years. You're with chapter one. So be compassionate with yourself first. Uh, don't stop. Trust the process because if you're having a coach that is has been there, done that, probably they're going to give you the summary version of how you can do it and kind of match that at that point instead of you trying to make it out on your own. 
So tr- I think you trusted the process when you came to, to Mike, right? Like Mike had the, yes. the channel and everything. He was like one step ahead of you, but he wasn't like way up in the front of no. the line, right? And I know in, the, in that process, he might didn't know everything, but he's like, well, this has worked with, for me. And so start doing that. And then he scaled up to another level and he's like, oh, now we're going to do this. And now we're going to have fun and then we're going to automate. And then we're going to do this and that. But something you learn in the process, right? So now for us, like you, Natalie and I, that know so many things and we can help so many people, it's easier to come and get coached for, with someone. Like if I don't go to the next level, it's like, how can I be a little a better leadership uh, leader for my team, for the people that work in my academy for the agents like how can i level up my business what do i have to do next to be better i need someone to tell me that right because the other part i already know and i can teach you but next what is next so i'm always coaching like this year i think i paid around eighteen thousand dollars on coaching and guess what my business again went 10x because i did that so you have to invest in yourself to get better is because sometimes you're like i want to see this no, 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 better this. And then I want to buy this book, this book, this book. This. And so you're getting like so many information, but you don't know where to start. So you have to have your map, right? Someone that can tell you, okay, you're going to go from here and then you're going to finish there, right? And so I think that's very important to invest in yourself and look for someone that can coach you and get better faster than if you do it by yourself. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, yes. And I think something that's top with me was when we we're talking about uh, you're more suitable to help somebody that you used to be. Yes. So you, like you're just one step ahead. You can help the, the person that is right behind you. You don't have to know everything to teach the, the next person that is next to you, your agents or your team members that you started. Some people are like, I need to know everything. I need to be Einstein before I teach anybody anything because they don't feel good enough. I'm like, no, you already know this, been there, done that. You can teach the next person that hasn't got that skill yet. So it's always like we're leveling up. Yes. Together. Yeah. 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 Yes. So trust, trust someone, go with them and you'll see, you'll get there soon enough if you make the reps, of course. Mm-hmm. And like you were saying, coaching is so important. Not only giving, receiving coaching and giving coaching as well, because it's like this flow of receiving and giving. At least to yes. me, I've always get so many learnings from you and Mike. Uh, lessons or things that you know you guys give us so much material so much to study and then I just turn around and be like I'm gonna give it to my team that is getting started and yes. I don't know or, or they don't they google it but they don't implement it so yes. we have we're getting coached all the time to coach others so I, I love yes. that transition of yes you know something I love uh, if you've heard it of course when he talks he does this analogy of the piñata you know and if you don't understand what a piñata is, I know you might know. Uh, in Mexico, you like to put candy in there and you have to hit it to get candy. So he makes this analogy that when you are trying to get the candy, you have to hit the piñata so many times, right? Like, oh, no, no, no. And life is like that. Like, I, I can think of my life of these 22 years. I'm trying to hit that piñata, you know? But I'm, those reps are getting me ready for that opportunity, right, that we were talking about. So... Once I believe in myself, I keep going and going and going and going. And then finally, you hit that piñata so hard because you've been doing it so many times. So it's almost going to to break, right? To break. And once that piñata goes and the candy goes out, you have to think that each candy is one opportunity and another different opportunity you will have in life. So I see it like that. Like I broke the piñata and I see so many candy flying right now. It's like, oh my God, I'm there now. Like, where am I going to be next next year? Last year, I did some conferences in, in Mexico. And then also, I don't know if we were in YouTube too, but I published my book. I never even thought I would have a book. And you were there too in that field in Guadalajara, which was amazing to have that in your life, you know, like the, the biggest fair of Latin America uh, for books. And I'm there and I'm like, wow, how did I get here? You know, I did this book. And then because of that and everything, this year I've been doing conferences. It's crazy. Last year was in Mexico. This year I went to Spain, to Colombia, to Ecuador, and now I'm going to finish in the U.S. And it's crazy, Natalia. I, like when people tell me we want you here, how do they know me? You know, like that's <laughs> what a personal brand does, you know, being consistent, being able to give a lot of value to people you'll get there. So if you're hearing me, please believe in yourself. 
keep doing it. Just start and keep doing it. Keep doing it. It will come. I, I can assure you that. Mm -hmm. And then going back to the book, when I was there with you uh, and the people that line up to get to have a picture with you with the book. And I wanted to, to ask you about that. You came up with the, the title of the book, which is very interesting. And tell, tell a little bit of the story behind it, because if you want to show the cover again, so people can see yes. it and, and then we can put the link in the description. Uh, yeah. in, in English is 38K USD dollars in 30 seconds. Yeah. So, yes. Uh -huh. yes. What's the story it, behind it? Yeah, it's crazy, you know, because when I started my personal brand, well, I started doing st stories in on Instagram. So I go to the wine country here in, in near Tijuana. It was Valle de Guadalupe. So I go to this place that, that is beautiful, guys. Beautiful, beautiful, you know, flowers, vineyards and everything. And I'm like, oh, my God, I'm going to do a story here. Like, people should know, like, there are a lot of land, lots, whatever. So if they want to come, like there's still lots and land. And I'm talking about this place that it's beautiful. If you want to get land here, blah, blah, blah. I didn't even have a land or a lot. I didn't know. But, you know, I knew I was going to get one. Like it's easy. So I do this story of 30 seconds. And because of that story, I get the first lead of uh, San Diego that wanted a lot. So I go I take the, and so I meet him in Valle Guadalupe and again, take a story, 30 second story about, I took my client that, that I'm selling this land. So here's what happened. Another person saw it and they wanted land and the other person. And so in 30 seconds, that's why it's 30 seconds, 38 K USD, because it took me 30 seconds to get that commission. So it's crazy how things you, sometimes you overthink it. It's a story. Like I'm like, Oh my God, there's so many bugs here. So I'm in this place, so beautiful, la, 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 la. And then this happened. I'm like, oh my God, this is easy, guys. Like, why are you overthinking it? Why do you think you have to be like a master in Facebook or whatever, or editor of these things? No, it's like a home story. Like I just went and that's it, it's done, bye. So it's crazy. That's why I did that book. And that's why that's the title. And I think it inspires many people because they're like, when you see, you know, money involved is one thing, but how this impacts your life or your family's life is a different thing. Maybe you need to pay your mortgage, maybe you pay your kids' school, maybe you need to just buy your, pay your own university, your class, your coaching. But unless you visualize it in that way, it's hard to grasp the why I'm going to get in camera, the why I'm going to create this content and until you see the light at the end of the tunnel. So yeah, that book, I think it was super like enlightening to others to be like, it's so easy, like, influencers do it out there to sell something random yeah. this is very specific it's like you're gonna buy this well look at the experience and yeah. yeah i'm not saying it's easy it's just like you're like you were always you're ready you're like okay i want to do my video the usual rep but now it turns into money so it's like a uh -huh. thing. just like that <laughs> like boom yeah cachun <laughs> yeah <laughs> yes it's like yeah i did it yeah and i think that people think it's they see it as you say very far and it's not that far guys like i've sold my first land and my first condo one it was because of facebook and the other one because of your sphere of influence that sometimes you don't tell them what you're doing and i just started telling them and I'm like can, can you help me find some land and there was this uh mall that big mall that was coming to tj like the first one and this guy who which is the developer saws me in a story he's like so you're in real estate like, I'm super interested. I want to give you a job. I want you to be in this part of the, the project. I'm like, my, guess what? Like, this happened. And it's just, you have to expose yourself so people know what you're doing. If you're like a, I tell them all the time, if you're like a 007 agent, yeah. no, a secret agent. You. <laughs> you're not. Like, you have to be there. Like, people see you and they will want to work with you. So that's what I will tell you today. Like, just start doing it today. Mm -hmm. No. Thanks for the encouragement. And I'm sure a lot of people that follow you in Spanish and those that don't follow you, in, I mean, now that is in English, they will understand, you know, why Banner Monroe is like taking over the whole real estate space in Spanish because there wasn't nobody like you before. Like you can look up to some coaches in English. There's so much content. But in Spanish, there's all those people that even in the U.S. that live here, but they don't speak English. And they're in the real estate space. They don't want to talk to the clients because they're scared because they don't speak English. But they see you, they're like, well, that's content that I understand, I relate to, and I can apply it to my business or get better yes. in English or just do it in Spanish because there are buyers in Spanish that only speak Spanish in the U.S. 
Yes. And you know, even though when I started, I remember there were like about three cre creators of in Spanish. It's like, see you later. <laughs> you know, I surpassed and fast, like because I was super committed with what I had to do, you know, and not all of them did all the reps every single week like I did. So that's the difference between, and then also that I give everything in my videos, like that's that, mm -hmm. have it all. And then if, and, and some people is like, so she gives me all that in the video. I wonder how is my, their, her mentorship, you know, or I wonder how is being with her team in an EXP, you know? So it's crazy. Like if you are super, giver and be yourself i think that's what connects with other people mm -hmm. is i think thinking in a mindset of abundance because sometimes we only want to keep it to ourselves we want to be close with our information only our listings nobody can see it who's gonna buy your property if nobody sees it online yes scary in latin america to put a listing online because somebody is gonna come and grab it and i'm like how do you want to sell this if it's nobody knows about it <laughs> not <laughs> yes, even or anything I know. Um, and just touching back on, on EXP and the reason that has probably expanded your network because you, EXP gives us the opportunity to, and that's the, the way I found you too, online. So I was look, looking for, you know, how do I create more clients where I am in Chicago? How do I generate more leads? And you Google that and you and Mike come to the top for that specific one I was looking for three years ago. And that that has been changing my life because I, I watch it, I repeat it, I do it. And then I watch it and I do it. But only, it takes some encouragement to be like, you know what, I want to text because you always leave your information there. I'm like, maybe I should just tap her like, hey, I want to join your group. And how do I do that? You know, because you just don't know because you're afraid to reach out to you. But it's so easy to be like, hey, I'm here. Yeah, what do you, let's just come, let's have a conversation. So what yes. do you think EXP has allowed as a platform for attracting agents around the world? And because this podcast is about international real estate, I think you're one of the main attractors. <gasps> and that's the best baby ever. Cookie. <laughs> lingüita. Yeah, you know, I think it was two things. Like, I always say that EXP in my personal brand has made me explode because EXP has helped me and encouraged me and put me also in stages as a global leader, right? So... When EXP started, I just did the videos Mike told me to do in Spanish because he did them in English, so you have to do it in Spanish. So as Mike and I, we haven't talked to anyone, called anyone, like all the agents come to us because they want to work with us because we give a lot of value, but we made all these videos. And so I think also like ES EXP has made me like a cele celebrity, you want to say also in, in the global space, but I've been super proactive in this global exp because it's so different like from canada and the u.s that everything is regulated and all the other 22 countries almost just south africa i think and i don't know if i'm losing someone else but they're the only ones regulated and the other ones guess what we are in the wild wild west you know so i couldn't just left and what i thought is like i have this opportunity like let's see everyone leave i'm gonna be here and let everyone brag I don't brag. I'm going to be here. I'm going to be helping. I'm going to be educating. And I don't know if I told you this, Natalie, once. Then when the event of EXP Mexico was launched in Cabo, I was with other two guys that they were like these top guys, right? And they're bragging one to the other one. So how many agents do you have? And like 400. And how about you? And they're like, oh, 450 and blah, blah, blah. And then they look at me and they're like, so how many do you have? And I'm like, 17? <laughs> you know, they're like, oh, this loser. Like, I, I think they, in their ego right now. And then the other one asked them, the other one, so how are they reporting the transactions and how do you see them? And like, I'm going to nail them. Like, I am going to win, you know, because they didn't care about the agents. They didn't care about helping. They, they, they were just bragging up numbers. And I just, I am so committed to the company because it has given me so many opportunities to have friends, to be to conferences, to be in stage, uh, to learn about the VP, like Megan Kelly is like, she's my best friend, you know, like been speaking so, so many years and she puts me in stage all the time. Felix Bravo now, uh, Glenn is like, oh my God, he's such a nice guy. He will stop and have a conversation with you all the time that they see you. I've been 
able to meet friends like you. And I think the opportunity to sell uh, real estate in other countries and this networking, and, and we are all looking to have the best company of real estate in the world because we are all owners. So I think because of my personal brand and and EXP, now I have this call to action all the time. If you want to join my team, I have everything I do for free. Just book a call. Like if you're an experimented uh, realtor, do a call here. If you're a new agent, book a call here. And I will be in that call with you. And I will be able to help you grow your business. Like if I think about Felipe Padilla, which is a success story. When Felipe Padilla started, he was a part-time realtor. And he's like, funny, I just have... Have time of my day. What do I have to do? I'm like, okay, let's do your branding. And we did a spectacular branding and just do YouTube. And you're going to do these videos. And I told him, you're going to do these videos. And now he's an icon agent. Like for three, almost three years later, he's an icon agent. He made around, I don't know, 20 million in volume. Like, it's crazy. Like what you can do just committing to one thing. So I think it's the same. Like I'm coaching them. I'm meeting friends. I'm helping them. We're growing together. And that's why I love EXP. But because I have the, the best of both worlds, right? If you want to be in my mentorship, you can be. I don't care if you're in Remax, Keller Williams, Century 21. I don't care. You can come to me. Mm -hmm. And in the other way, if you want to come to my team to EXP, you can come also. So I can help whoever wants to be helped, right? Mm -hmm. yeah mm -hmm. and that's the, the magical part of i think our organization and without going too much in depth with that you have been able to attract agents from all over the world that speak spanish but not only that also some people that speak english and they see you and oh you know when they have that vibe i think like when we work together as a group you can see that there's like a ball of fire walking together <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> I think it's different. yeah the uh, other day in, in the event we went there was these two guys that came to me that they're i mean they don't speak spanish i think and they're like you know bunny you're the one that inspired us to start my our youtube channel I'm like you know, it's crazy, Natalie. And so it's, that's making a change in, I don't know how many days I have left in my life, but I know now that I, I did something in my life, right? And I'm going to be there in, the, in those videos, even if I die, right? They're, my videos are going to be there forever, yeah. prospecting for me forever, <laughs> right? Like, okay, kids, it's your time. <laughs> yeah. I, yeah, so that's why I really love EXP too. Mm -hmm. No, thank you for all that and everything that you give to the world that... Some people don't see the behind the scenes because there is like an iceberg, only the 20% you can see what happens outside, you know, in the public. But then there's so much work behind that you do and you consistently you just don't stop. And when you love what you do, it doesn't feel like work, but it doesn't feel like work, like being literally seven days a week, 24 hours, any calls with any time zones because you are working with Spain, you're working with, you know, less America and there's other realtors in Asia and Australia that can speak Spanish too, that, that can benefit from your content because there is not that much out there that is of value. Like, yes. hey, there is, you know, take it. Run, run yes. It. yes, it's crazy. I have, I think I have agents from eight countries. So it's like, what? Yeah. How can I have eight countries in my team? It's crazy, right? Sometimes mm -hmm. you see a broker here that, that has three agents and they're not happy. And we have agents from all over the world and then that we're in this networking and this help environment. So I think it's amazing what you can, if you understand the model and the benefits of being at EXP, it's like, oh my God, it's amazing. Like my exit strategy, helping, you know, having stock, uh, being able to sell. Yeah. Yes, yeah. real estate in all over the world. So it's amazing, like really amazing. I think only us can stop ourselves. And if our mindset stops right there, you don't reach out, you don't call, you don't book that, you know, Zoom call. And it's so easy. Vane is so accessible. Like you're easy to, to talk to. You're easy to like, hey, get on the phone. If, if you really need me, I'm here. So mm -hmm. people are just afraid. But no, I love uh, everything that you have given us as a group, as a team member. I feel like you're my mom in business. <laughs> because Oh my God, no, you're super smart, Nati. <laughs> you are super smart and you do so many things for us too. Yes, no. It's mm -hmm. like a nice merch of effort. That hey, you <laughs> oh, I love your effects. Uh, <laughs> so we have our, our last question in the podcast is, uh, if you can nominate somebody within the space of international real estate, Spanish, English, or any language that you, comes to mind that you're like, you need to interview this person because they've done this, this, and they're just exploring, going. It can be in any country. They don't have to be in the U.S. or 
Mexico. It can be in Spain. It can be anywhere else. Who should I interview that they're doing really international transactions? Okay. She's going to kill me for this, but I know <laughs> Emilia Videgaray, you have to be here. <laughs> like she's <laughs> an awesome content and getting agents, I mean, getting leads because of her YouTube channel. L let me just share this. Like she's doing content. She's in Puerto Vallarta, Mexico, which is a great place, you know. And she got two leads from China, from China because of his, her YouTube channel. Like you're thinking, I will never, ever do a Facebook ad in Mandarin, right? In China, because what the hell, what am I saying? Right? So she gets these two, eight, two people that want to invest in Puerto Vallarta because they're moving there. One is a pilot and the other one, I don't remember. So they're moving to Puerto Vallarta and guess what they did? The first thing they did is like, what do I have to know before moving to Puerto Vallarta? The cost of living in Puerto Vallarta, best communities of Puerto Vallarta. And who was there? Emilia Videgaray. So she's closing deals this month because of that. So I'm I'm telling you, Emilia Vigaray in English with Nati in this podcast. And I, you, I know I'm I know she's you're gonna she's gonna inspire so many people. We were looking at her first video and it's so funny. Like she put it like the camera, like Ooh, like over there, guys. So you will see her like this small in the video. So no one knew who she was. Like she's like, hi, I'm Emilia Vigaray. And la, 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 la. And now we were laughing, you know, laughing. Now she's like Boom, 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 boom. But, you know, it's that muscle, it's that rep. Also. So I think she can be someone super exciting because I know she's meeting so many people in EXP via YouTube, via Facebook ads. And also when she does Facebook ads, then they, the people go around and see who she is and she will have everything there. So people are knowing trust. So mm -hmm. they're working with her. So I think she will be at one. That's awesome. I think I want to reach out to Amelia for sure because she trusted the process and she just kept going and didn't stop. As you yes. say, you know, as long as you don't stop, nobody can stop you. <laughs> yes, I see. I see, yes. <laughs> Thank you so much, Vanya, for your time. It's always nice and a pleasure to talk to you. And where can people find you online? What are your handles and what platforms? Yes. I'm everywhere with the same name, Vane Monroe, V-A-N-E. Vane, if you don't know, is because of Vanessa. It's a short name. Because I'm like, Vane? 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 What is it? And I'm like, I'm Vanessa, but in short, Vane. <laughs> so it's uh, V-A-N-E, Monroe. Everywhere, everywhere. I'm like that. Although I think also, only in Facebook, it's like Vane Monroe Marketing Immobiliario. But I don't even have a Twitch account, and I'm there. Vane Monroe. You can just search, and I'm yeah. Everywhere, everywhere the same. Not Vanne Monroe official, not Vanne Monroe number one, number yes. no, Vanne Monroe. <laughs> yeah, and you will find me everywhere. It's crazy when I search myself, I'm like, <laughs> even in like the pages and pages and <laughs> pages. Like, oh, that's crazy. I think I'm kind of famous now. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you are. So, thank you so much. It's always a pleasure talking to you and so animated to just get your vibe and I'm sure more people will get the same from you. Thank you, Nati. I'm sorry that I, it took us some time, but I was like, oh my God, this is... <laughs> I, I was so busy, but now we're here. We did it and I, I'm happy. I really, really admire you, Nati. We all do. Like we look at you and we're like, this girl has everything going on. Like you're super <laughs> smart, super nice, always giving and, you know, I know you're doing your course for international real estate and I know it's, you're going to nail it. And so you're going to give so much to, to so much people. You're the best for that. Like I'm the best in social media for realtors. You're the best in that. Like your experiences, what you live, what you learned. So guys, wait for that course because it's going to be amazing. So I, I can't wait to see you where you go to, Nati. You've been to this year in Lisbon. You were there in the panel and, and real estate, international real estate. So... I know a lot of things are coming in your way too. So, Nati, I love you so much. So thank you for having me here. It's a pleasure. Thank you. Thank you. And thanks for all that. I'm excited because I have the best instructors and the teachers. So it's just about to do in the reps, following the guide and just trust the process. And we're getting there. <laughs> thanks See. again. See you, See everybody. you soon. <laughs> Appreciate Bye. it. Thank you for joining us on the Real Estate Investment Nomad Podcast. I hope today's episode has inspired you to explore new horizons in global real estate. Remember, the world is full of opportunities waiting to be discovered. And with the right insights, you can turn those opportunities into successful investments. If you enjoy the show, please subscribe, rate, and leave a review. 
your feedback help us bring you the best content possible. Don't forget to follow us in social media for more resources and updates. Until next time, my friends, this is Natalie Salas encouraging you to think big, invest globally, and transform your real estate journey. Safe travels and happy investing.